Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the week of November 9th through the 15th. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So uh, this is a general reading, yes, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, also, this could be slightly timeless, um, but this is meant for like the week ahead. So just keep that in mind. Um, you could treat this as a timeless reading, but honestly, it's more meant for the week ahead. So let's just see. Let's get into this here. Uh, mm. Also, keep in mind, I normally, when I do these readings, normally these, at least these weekly readings, <clears throat> normally these are meant for your rising sign. So initially or, or, or yeah, yeah, well, normally this is like Leo rising, but it doesn't matter. You can watch this for any placement that resonates with you. Yeah, just keep that in mind. Your rising sign is most likely going to be the most accurate for you. Yes. All right, Leo, let's get into this here and see what we have for this week. Hi, spirit. <laughs> Please make me a clear channel for all Leos at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved for the week of November 9th through the 15th of 2020. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, Leo, let's get into this here. Uh, we're going to start with the Energy Oracle deck. I'm going to give this five shuffles and I just let's see what your general theme is for the week. Yeah, one. For my Leo, this is two. Three. And five for you, Leo. Yeah. All right, Leo. So let's see. What is your general theme this week? What are you up against this week? What's going on for you, Leo? Okay. We have victory. All right. This is good. Um, I do feel like you guys have been working very hard on something self-improvement. Uh, you do have Healer of the Ages at the bottom of the deck that kind of wanted to fall out here. What I feel like this is really speaking to, Leo, is a lot of the work that you've been doing on yourself, on your health and your well-being. Um, really been focusing on you, what drives you, what helps you flourish, um, getting back to a sense of yourself here. And I do, f and victory is coming through for you here. Um, I'm, uh, I'm hearing hard work uh, is, your hard work is paying off. For some of you, this does mean in business. Um, some of you have been getting a uh getting some sort of entrepreneurship endeavor off the ground um and actually i'm feeling like if this does have something to do with business for you leo um you've been really you really had the pedal to the metal like you were really your you know you know your nose to the grindstone i'm seeing a bit of eight of pentacles energy but also nine of pentacles energy was what i was seeing initially because the nine of pentacles talks about being independent it also talks about reaping the rewards of hard work that's now paying off for you okay this is really good leo but for the most part i do feel like this was internal work um there's been a lot of energy recently in the collective of closing out major overarching cycles or major life cycles, some things that may have been really tough for you to deal with in the past. I'm going to give this five shuffles. We're going to see what's crowning you this week. Um, one. But I really do feel like, Leo, you're starting to reap the benefits, okay? You're starting to see how your hard work has been paying off, or how your hard work is paying off, or what your hard work has really been providing to you. This is two. There's, there's like a sense of stability, inner stability, inner strength, um, this is three, you, <laughs> an inner glow that's really shining through. Um, I feel like maybe some of you may even feel like you've gone through a glow up recently. This is three. Yeah, your work is really paying off now, Leo. This is great. This is four. And this is five. So what's crowning you this week then? What's on your mind here, Leo?
Okay. You have two cards here. You have blessings and gateway. Yeah. Yeah, Leo. I really I really feel like you're t you've taken some real strides, some real huge leaps and bounds. This work that you've been doing on yourself. Now, uh, keep in mind the, the, the strongest thing that I feel for you guys here is that this has been internal work. And yes, that could be translating into some sort of business endeavor. For some of you, it feels like you are, you are finally ready to start moving on to a, a career or a job or, or a line of business that's way more in alignment with you. But quite frankly, Leo, you wouldn't really be able to get through get to this part get to this path or get through this gateway or get through to this next level if you hadn't been doing that inner work all right and so now because of the work that you've been doing um you're able to cross through a gateway and i do feel like many of you even feel like the fact that you're able to cross through this gateway or i'm hearing the fact that you're even able to leave whatever this past circumstance is behind whatever you've been um, struggling with for so long the fact that you're even able to pass through and move on to the next phase in your life or the next phase in your existence or the next phase in your soul expansion soul development is in fact a blessing to you i feel like many of you are in a very very humble very grateful mood again the fact that you're you've been able to overcome whatever circumstances you've been working on on an internal level to you is a blessing enough but then there's even more blessings that come through as you cross through this gateway as you move through this portal as you move on to the next phase in your life we do have that 11 11 portal coming through this week Okay, so many of you, this is a big, big turning point for you guys. So I would recommend that you stay in that humble, um, uh, grateful place, uh, space energetically as much as you possibly can. But I just feel like for a lot of you right now, this is, it's quite easy for you to do at this moment. And that's, that's really great. So let's give this five shuffles here and let's see what is grounding you. What's your driving force? One. Two, three, four. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Let's try that again. Four and five. All right, Leo. So, what's your driving force this week? <laughs> All right, that's that's great, Leo. I mean, I don't think you really ever have that much of trouble thinking of this of yourself, but you have I am beautiful. That's your driving force. That's what's grounding you this week. Um, and I feel like, you know, what's helping you get to this place is some of you may have dealt with some sort of... Um, feelings of inadequacy and it could have very well been connected to whatever this cl cl closing cycle has been for you um yeah look at that you have the six of swords you're definitely moving forward here and the star at the bottom of the deck um whatever portal it is you're able to jump through whatever gateway you're moving through whatever phase in your life that's coming to an end here it's allowing you yeah look at that it's allowing you to feel this sense of beauty it's allowing you to really instead of just saying the words i am beautiful i feel like you're really you really feel like you understand yourself enough to or you appreciate yourself enough to really feel like you are beautiful judgment here with the eight of swords um king of cups seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck you guys really are breaking free from some sort of conditioning some sort of mental prison for some of you i do feel like this is social conditioning or or a conditioning that happened very early on in life um this does come from your family this does come from your childhood for some of you here nine of wands ten of pentacles two of pentacles no you really didn't give up you didn't give up on yourselves, okay? I, I really feel like you fought. You fought very hard to close out this cycle. Six of Wands, there's your energy here, okay, Leo? This is beautiful. This is so beautiful. I love this for you guys. I really do love this for you guys. So, 
what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go a little bit deeper into these energies here for your week, get some more of your timelines, get some more understanding of what could be what you could be focusing on and what you need to be focusing on using the tarot. And I'm going to clarify that. But I am going to take that over to Patreon. Yes, if you would like to follow me on Patreon, I would appreciate it if you do. Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. We have a lot of great stuff there. But if you're not following me, uh, not going to move, be moving on to Patreon with me, with us, that is perfectly fine. I still appreciate you guys. I still thank you guys so much for being here. And I really hope that you guys have a fantastic week. It really looks like there's a there's a huge victory happening for you. Again, this is internal. There's an internal battle that is coming to an end. There's a sense of understanding yourself better. There's a sense of being able to appreciate yourself more. Even some of your more darkest, uh, darker elements. I am beautiful. You're able to look at yourself at this point and say, wow, no, I really am beautiful no matter what. Yeah, I may have my pitfalls. Yeah, I may have my circumstances, this, that, and the third that aren't completely desirable but who cares I still love me I still love who I am and I'm still going to be the person that I am and quite frankly I'm picking up on one a lot of for some of you this has to do with your childhood for others of you if you're looking for love this is what's really going to help you find that authentic that authentic state of love that authentic state of a relationship in which you are you are really truly loved and appreciated by your partner because it only start you can only experience that in your life if you have that within first so this is beautiful you guys this is so beautiful i'm so proud of you guys Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you have a fantastic week. And if you're not gonna, if you're not moving over to Patreon with us, then I look forward to seeing you again next week for your next reading. Yeah, take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>